Yesterday, okay? Dude, yesterday we talked about this. Look at this. Oh my God, game over. And it stopped everybody out. And today, I mean, I'm pretty surprised actually that just went straight down without any any fights. But the key is this. This is a day one stock, guys. And there's a concept that I kind of coined called um, deviation from VWAP. I'm pretty sure other people use this, but I just kind of call it that because once it starts to deviate too much from the VWAP, what happens is this. Once it deviates too much, you, you, it's very difficult to go back down. Shorts are upside down. Shorts are the ones feeling this. And we mentioned in the room that VERU yesterday was easy to borrow. Pretty much today is easy to borrow as well, but yesterday was extremely, it was all easy to borrow. And so in order for a stock to squeeze of this magnitude, guys, from freaking three bucks or whatever, the five bucks to 15 bucks, it needs to have a lot of shorts trapped. And the shorts are the, the reason why it feels these squeezes because people are shorting, shorting, shorting. Next thing you know, they're, they're all fighting. So the, I'll, I'll give you the secret, guys. We, I, we talked about this before, but the natural buyers, the match, natural bidders of a stock are short sellers. They are not longs. Longs are not the ones that are driving the stock up. Longs are not going to keep buying forever, guys. This is stupid. When you when you think to yourself, when you, you see all these guys telling, um, proclaiming like, oh, look at all these dumbass longs chasing the highs. No, dude, it's the dumbass shorts are getting squeezed. There's no longs buying this fucking shit up here. They already bought it down here. This is nosebleed levels. The only reason that it's up this much is because the short sellers are stuck. And so once they are, so the only way for a short seller, a short, a, a squeeze like this to get out is if it unravels. If it gets to the point where it just Kills so many shorts where it takes everybody out, and that's what I did, man. It took a lot of shorts out, and so even so, even here, guys, look, it went all the way back up to fifteen bucks. What was this? Fourteen bucks. So it it basically stopped everybody out, and so the shorts started hammering back in and went back up. So look at this line, the fourteen dollar line. This fourteen dollar line became a huge resistance. So the last bit of squeeze only went up a dollar. So 14 bucks was the way to go. Let me see what I did on this stock. Oh wait, look, <laughs> 14 bucks, shorted 14 bucks. And started shorting it and every pop I added, covered, added. And I was like, dude, I, I wanted to get another one. I did not feel by a penny, man. 1150 was another, uh, so I just kind of let it go. But you know what, man? I made money from 14 bucks all the way down to 11 bucks. But the key is this, guys. The, the, the key we always say is be careful of day one runners. Be careful one day runners. Be careful of day one runners. Be careful of especially sh easy to borrow day one runners, guys. So I'm telling you right now, man, when I, see, when I see easy to borrow and when a stock starts to deviate, $1, $2, $3 over VWAP, it's, it's pretty much like, dude, it's, it's pretty, pretty damn impossible. I would say nothing's impossible. I mean, pretty damn hard for it to die. Just just die like that. Unless there's huge dilution on that. But if there's huge dilution, guys, it wouldn't be easy. It wouldn't be like straight up like that. It wouldn't be <laughs> on huge volume. But the key, once again, is easy to borrow, guys. I won't talk about this much. We made a lot of videos on this, guys. Easy to borrow is the reason why VERU ran all the way up, guys. Okay? Um... I hear a lot of the guru foos talking about, oh, I don't want to go long the stock because it's easy to borrow. Nah, dude, you want to go because it's easy to borrow because it has a huge likelihood of being squeezed if the volume is there. And so today, you know, on the backside, I was like, dude, do not go long. Do not go long. This is all shorts, guys. So what goes up must go down. So, if, so the key to trading these markets, guys, these markets are very different than, than they've been last year. And that's why a lot of people are getting killed. Um, they're the, they don't understand the markets. The strategy they're using last year doesn't work because they really didn't have a strategy, guys. I, and then we talked about in the room. A plan includes where to enter, where to exit for both a winner and a loss. And the key is this. The key is you need to pre-plan. You need to figure out. People always talk about, do you have a... So this is. So I want to end it with this, guys. I want to keep this nice and short. There's a huge thing on Twitter Oh, are you a discretionary trader, a system trader? Guys, we are not random traders, man. Everything is a system, okay? Uh, the stocks selection is a system. The type of stocks we select 
backside, front side, day one, day three, first day red, uh, first red day, uh, sell the news. These are all system plays. Okay, discretionary. I mean, you call it what the hell you want to call it, but just because we don't use a spreadsheet doesn't mean that we don't know what the fuck we're doing. Doesn't mean that we're randomly hitting stocks. We are choosing stocks within our system. You don't see me going and trading fucking Google, randomly playing Google, right? You see me trade stocks that are broken, backside stuff, day two, low hanging fruit is a system. Okay, guys, so forget all this shit you see on Twitter. There's a lot of misinformation out there because a lot of people want to be cool. They want to fucking start putting people down. They want to hate and troll and all that shit. You know, I just do what I do, guys. I've been trolling fucking for decades here. If if they stop trolling me, I know I'm doing something wrong, obviously. But so I'm going to remind someone, remind everybody, not just someone, everybody that, you know what, man? There's a reason why I'm around for a long time. There's a reason why Alex is wrong on, around for a long time. Because we have a systematic way, repeatable way of, of consistently entering, exiting, you know, making money off trading stocks, right, guys? So there is a system behind it. Yeah, it does not – just because we don't use this fucking spreadsheet. I mean, we've been doing this for so long, the spreadsheet is in my head, right, guys? And so the key is, once again, guys, these trading rules all add up to the system, okay? Um no one's writing an algorithm. Trust me on that. There is nobody fucking writing a fucking algorithm on this shit, right? And that's the only way that they're doing a system play, right? But anyways, it doesn't matter what it is, guys. The key is stock selection. In this market, stock selection is the key, okay? All these guys are looking at all these parameters. Bullshit. It's all bullshit. If you choose a proper stock, guys, your life would be much easier, okay? Uh, the entries and exits we formulate through lines, Resistance and support and pivot lines. These things are, I mean, they're as simple as you can be, man. Trading is very simple, guys. It's not, it's not easy because you still have to execute it, but it is very simple, guys. Stop with all this fucking stupid ass shit about fucking data testing and what, I mean, dude, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? These guys are doing this shit. They're not profitable. They're just trying to... They are trying to convince themselves that they're smarter than other people because they're not profitable. Keep it simple, stupid. I've been doing the same fucking shit for decades now. Keeping it simple. I Using the fucking methodologies that I've been fucking using for 20 years. Alex is using the same ones. We've been mentoring thousands of people in MIC. And I, what, what, I want to bring someone on. It's been a long time since I brought someone on. Uh, you want to bring um, – if you want to come on, raise your hand. Uh, you could be a troll. You could be anything you want. Ask any question you guys want. Very simple, man. I mean, dude, if you avoided V-E-R-U yesterday, you're ready to bail. To, you get ready to fucking bank today. That's what I did. I, I, and I survived V-E-R-U yesterday. So I survived yesterday to make money on V-E-R-U today. So that's, I mean, I don't know what else to say, guys. There are people losing millions of dollars out there, you know, being way too early, being way too arrogant, having no fucking uh, risk management plans. The funny thing is they, they make fun of me and my risk management and they all blew up yesterday. So it's fucking pretty funny. Yep, we've been talking. We were one of the first people to just uh, talk about easy to borrow, man. We 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 gave out the theories on that, and you may not believe it, but so they may not believe the zombie rule is a theory. But that zombie rule fucking is gold. Look at a a t n m today, man. There's a lot of zombies all the fucking time, guys. There's something around that time, guys, and and it's based upon the my own track record of losing my ass to formulate this. So when you're talking about spreadsheets, guys, I do keep a spreadsheet. It's called P and L, <laughs> and I know what shit I lost on, and I know why I lost on him. Alex is away until uh, later this week, guys. End of the week. Any questions, guys? This is pretty pretty much straightforward day. Uh, there's a lot of traps, man. Holy crap. Look at A-G-L-E. Straight down. There's a lot of these stocks that just go straight down. So when you're looking for all-day fader, guys, these are the system plays that the people want. Oh, they think that the problem with the all-day fader is this. Sometimes you get a fucking trap and it's fucking midday ramp. You need to put in a hard stop. So that's the thing that a lot of these guys don't understand. You still have to have risk management. System means shit without risk management. Risk management is your system. So if you have a solid risk management, guys, you are already ahead of the game. Defense wins championships in sports. Risk management wins fucking trading. 
Raise your hand, guys. Do you want to bring anybody on? Uh, I'm building another PC setup, guys. So I'm I'm not really done yet. It's still it's still being worked on right now. <laughs> so I have a um, few few places I'm staying at. So I'm building another one here. Yeah, guys. So I mean, um, Tosh, you're out. I think Tosh is on some. But yeah, text Tosh. Our information is on the IG site. So the Instagram that you're on, uh, the Tosh is text. You can text them anytime, guys, for information about MIC, about questions or anything you guys like. Yeah, pretty straightforward day, guys. Who wants to get on, man? Raise your hand. I think it's been a long time since I had someone on just to say hello, whatever you guys want, man. Are you using VWAP with pre-market? Yeah, I use VWAP with, uh, with the pre-market. Yes, I do. There's a lot of stuff out there, guys. I mean, as long as you make money, it's okay. Twitter guys are always trying to be different, always trying to be cool, telling people all this shit, you know? I mean, I don't really give a damn, guys. I've been doing this thing too long. I blocked them all. <laughs> I blocked them all, and they still try to talk. But, uh, you know, do what, you know, VWAP, I do use the pre-market and uh, data, man. I use the pre-market data. Any questions, guys? <laughs> it's your chance, man. Hey, guys. I guess everyone uh, knows what they're doing. <laughs> Do you think uh, Vero could be a liquidity trap? You, you, people have these fucking fancy ass terms, liquidity trap. This fucker is down from fifteen dollars to ten dollars, and you're talking about a liquidity trap. The fuck? <laughs> they have liquidity for longs. <laughs> trapping the longs who are buying on the back side. So very simple, guys. If you're a long buy trader, go long on the front side. If you're a short seller, go short on the back side. The hardest part of trading is having the discipline to wait for your edge. Right, guys? When you see shit that goes down, like VRU today from 15 to 10, and you're long, you're like, oh, shit, it's on sale, it's on sale. So you buy, 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 buy. And remember, guys, things are on clearance are yesterday's fucking piles of crap you're buying old ass shit that no one wants right guys so you want to buy the hype hype buy it up buy it on the way up not on the way down and when you short you don't want to short on the hype man you wait for that shit to be over with and then you short the backside that's the best easiest way to do it. we call those low-hanging fruits guys and the hardest part of those is to wait as a short seller the hardest part is to wait to wait for the front side to be over it's more difficult than you think to be able to sell your hands and do nothing guys it's just simple. Trading is so simple. If you are long, buy the support lines. If the support lines break, stop out. If you are short, short the resistance lines. If the resistance lines break, stop out. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss. None of this fancy. You don't need any of this fancy shit to, to day trade intraday, guys. I'm not holding the huge, massive million share positions to swing for three months. I'm not doing that. I'm just making my money and getting the fuck out. Indicators I use is VWAP, pivot lines, support and resistance. Yep. Uh, the way to do longs, uh, guys, on your IRA and stuff like that is to buy the front side such as, you know, like L-I-X-T. And then when it drops, and then when it breaks, so draw the first thing is draw their lines, man. The lines, support lines, or resistance lines, right, guys? Learn how to do technical analysis and keep it simple. Just draw your support resistance lines. SuccessTrader.com. Here's the broker to check out, guys. I'm going to type it out. SuccessTrader. Yep, trying to get a meetup going soon. Hopefully. Any other questions, guys? I'm always available on Twitter, guys. You guys know that. You see me post my charts every day on Twitter as well. So, hit them up, guys. Maybe 27 or 30. I forget what their thing is. Um, but, you know, you, you can mention that you, you heard from me on Instagram and stuff. So, why not short under 10 bucks from ERU? Why not short under ten dollars? 
This thing going from t- fucking 15 to 10. 50% retracement rule. I'm not touching that shit. So you want to go long? Go long around the 50 to 60% retracement rule. Oh, that's a rule that I... Oh, that's a rule that I... Uh, <laughs> I guess just just share with you guys. So $15... Uh, so look at bounce off ten bucks, man. Go ahead, not go under. So guys, there's a point where it's just too greedy, right? So you can ride it all the way down, but then at some point it's gonna bounce like VRU bounce right now, almost a dollar uh, share. So I mean, you know, it's the hard part for me has always been the exit. It's like the greed factor, right? Where do you exit? Entries are for me. Entries are much easier because I can, I can choose where I want to enter. The greed and the fear of missing out is the hard part for me. So everybody has their own, you know, their own weakness and, you know, their their own strength. So so no one's perfect trader, guys. I'm definitely not a perfect trader. If I can fucking do this shit, you can do this shit too, guys. The hardest part for me is having the discipline to not enter stocks where I should not be entering because out of boredom or because of cushion. When I'm up, it's very dangerous when I'm up because I get bored and so I like to gamble around. But that's because I sit around to help MIC guys. Normally, if if I didn't have to, guys, I go, I just leave, go on vacation, fucking go it's like Alex does, guys. So. Having a full time job actually helps as a trade trader, guys, because you know you're not sitting behind the screen twenty four seven bored. Uh, hit and run, man, nail and bail. You only need to work like two hours in the morning, one hour to set up, one hour to trade, and you're done. So that's why we keep telling people, man, guys that have the jobs make the best day traders because they're not desperate for for money. They they know where their income's coming from, guys. So all you guys right now that, that wish to be a full time trader, forget it. It sucks being a full time trader. You probably gonna lose your ass because you're so fucking bored and you have no income and you're gonna get stressed. So those that have a job right now, hit up Tosh. Go check out my investment club, my investing club. Those are make the best traders. The best traders are the guys that don't need to trade, that don't need the money. And so you're thinking clearly. You can do. The, Get in a position, get out of position quickly, and leave for a day. Okay, I'm going to leave you guys with this, guys. Hey, James. I'm just telling everybody that the best traders are not the guys that are full-time necessarily. They're the guys with the jobs. Because the guys with the jobs are not desperate for money. They're not here to fucking like have to pay the rent. And so if you supplement your income, this is all you need, guys. Two hundred bucks a day is life changing money, guys. For me, for me, life changing money is being able to walk into a restaurant and order what the fuck I want to order. I don't need to buy a fucking Bugatti and a Lambo every day. The fuck those guys, man. Those guys are selling you got the bullshit dream. The bullshit dream for me has always been to be able to walk into any restaurant and buy whatever the fuck I want to buy to eat. Having food to eat is a fucking luxury item that that most of most Americans don't understand. It's a huge luxury around the world. Poor countries like in Asia, in Africa, there's a lot of poor countries in the Middle East. They don't have money to eat. They don't have clean food to eat. There's a shortage of food. And so for me, you know, I come from a third world country and I come from Asia. And it's like, dude, having fucking food at my at my fingertips to eat every day is a life changing thing for me. So I so I keep it very simple. Yeah, sure, I have a Ferrari, I sure I have fucking nice shit, but that's not that was never my goal, guys. My goal was just to fucking not be worried about having food and shelter and shit like that, right guys? So keep your day job. Think about this. Can you make two dollars a day? I think anybody can make two dollars a day. Two hundred dollars a day is not that difficult. The hard part is making two hundred dollars a day and being happy with making two hundred dollars a day. If you're not happy with two hundred dollars a day, you're gonna want to make five hundred, and then you want to make a thousand, and then you lose it all back, guys. So when you break it down, a million dollars a day is only four million dollars a year is only four thousand dollars a day. So I'll leave that with you guys right there, guys. Simple make your income. Uh, don't quit your day job. I started with a, I had a job. The reason I quit my job is because I call, uh, in life is always called, I'm going to leave you this. In life is always called opportunity cost. When your opportunity cost, so my opportunity cost for not trading was, so my opportunity cost, so I, when I had a job, I had to go to work. And so when I went to work, I actually lost money because I would have made more money trading than I did at my day job. And that's why the opportunity cost for me to go to work is so, so high that I quit my job. 
because I made more money trading. So the moment that happens, then you know to quit your job. When the opportunity comes, I wish I could do it. I, I was trading and, and, and doing this for like two years with a job. Because you know what? Why? They're paying me money. They're paying me money and to learn. So during that time, I learned. I learned how to trade. I didn't have to worry about paying the bills. You know, I was set. I was set. <laughs> uh, and then I made a goal of saving two years worth of salary before I quit. But anyways, you guys can do that too, guys. Yup, James works. It's it sucks being here, guys. I want to I want to leave. I want to fucking leave. But Alex is not here. He's on vacation. Um, uh, James, I thank you for helping the room all the every fucking day. The moderators, thank you. If, if it wasn't for them, man, if, I want to fucking I don't want to fucking stay here, guys. Seriously, but I I want to help the members so I stay. So for me, my day job is MIC, guys. <laughs> Happens to be the same job I do trading. So, you know, it works out for me. I enjoy it. But, you know, there are days I just don't want to show up. It's just like anything else, guys. After a while, it's making money is boring as fuck, guys. Seriously, sometimes you fuck around and you lose money. But, you know, you have fun. But it's stupid, right? It's the same fucking shit. It's like shopping, right? <laughs> Whatever it may be, guys. So you guys can do this. I believe in you. Keep your fucking day job. Go get a job. Uh, we have another member driving Uber now to fund their accounts and stuff like that. So thanks, guys. We'll see you online. Um, all right. Until next time, guys. I'm always available on Twitter. Always available um, in the Slack uh, for MIC. And you know my Instagram. So, I mean, shit, man. I think I help people for decades now. I'm <laughs> not realizing it. So, all right, guys. Do me a favor, guys. When, when you go and see our videos, please click like. Please click like. Um, videos, photos, we post, whatever. It really helps us out. We don't really ask for it much. Our, our social media space is not, um, presence is not that huge, but we would like to get bigger, guys. We want to get it bigger to help more of you guys. So thank you, guys. We'll see you later.